Let's get back to more of The Daily Tip presented by BetMGM with Michael Jenkins and Chelsea Messenger. Double D, David Dykstra, dropping the 80s hits, it feels like. A little keyboard splash after the guitar solo. I'm all about it. It is a daily tip from Beck UM presented by Bad MGM. She's Chelsea Messenger. I'm Michael Jenkins. Coming up in just a couple of minutes, we've got the keys to winning game six for both teams in tomorrow's night, tomorrow night's NBA finals. Chelsea, have you read this story about the horns down at the college world series? Zach Collier, a 27 year old Texas AM alumnus, sang the national anthem at the women's college world series between Texas and Oklahoma State, but he put up horns down before he sang the anthem. And because of that, he was scheduled to sing at the Men's College World Series in Omaha, and the NCAA said, no, you put the horns down, you're not being neutral, so now you can't sing. What is your take on this? I'm a longhorn, so of course I have a take on it, but I wanted to find out what you thought. What is so bad about the horns down? Somebody's going to have to explain this to me because I feel like the world treats it like it's giving somebody the middle finger. Am I missing something? I feel like it's not that big of a deal, right? Here, here's the thing about horns down. It is not a big deal. I don't care about horns down. I went to Texas. I have two degrees from the University of Texas. I am a dyed in the wool Longhorns fan. I do not care about horns down. This has been going on forever. I don't know why it's taken off, I guess, because of Twitter. Maybe it's new to Twitter. But if you follow Texas football at all, how long have we been playing Oklahoma or how long did we play Texas A&M before we start playing them again in the SEC? This has been going on forever. I don't care. What I do care about is people telling me that I care. That's what drives me crazy. Oh, oh, I bet you're tired of seeing horns down. I'm like, I don't care, man. I just want to win. I will say that this guy, Zach Collier, made a very good point. And this is the distinction that I make as well. His issue was not that the NCAA punished him. Because I do think if you're going to sing the national anthem, you should be neutral for that moment. For both teams. I don't care about who's playing. Texas, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, whatever. Because your job is not to call attention to either side or call attention to yourself. It's to sort of pay your respects in that moment to your country. What his problem was, and I agree with this, is that he had an issue with the NCAA saying it's an offensive gesture. There's nothing offensive about horns down. He said, if I was supposed to be neutral... I get that. And this is an Aggie saying that. And if you know Texas A&M grads, they'll do anything to justify their behavior or horns down, whatever. They're weird like that. But even he said, look, I I don't care if they want me to be neutral. I get that. But it's not offensive. And I agree. It is not offensive. I'm just tired of people telling me I should be offended about it. I don't care. I know a ton of Texas fans, and they don't care. Who cares? Why do you need to be um subjective when you're singing the national anthem as long as you're not saying like you know go aggies in the middle of it like who cares right well i think i you have to keep it neutral regardless of who's playing i don't care if it's north carolina and nc state i don't care if it's michigan ohio state because then it's a slippery slope where what you have someone coming out in one team's gear or maybe they say something before or after the anthem and it can become a spectacle all you have to do is for that moment Just be neutral, go out there, do your job, which is don't bring attention to yourself, sing the anthem, and then afterwards, do whatever you want. Go be a fan, go crazy, do whatever. But I think that is a slippery slope if you start allowing something like that on either side, and then you have people acting out and being crazy during the anthem and drawing attention away from what is supposed to be a solid moment. Bottom line, the NCAA made a dumb decision once again. Like, this is what (laughs) we expect from the NCAA, right? Like, this doesn't seem to matter in the large scope of things. Aren't there worse things to worry about than, like, somebody doing the horns down? So, congratulations, NCAA. You have exceeded our very low, very low expectations once again. Nah, that's what the NCAA does. They always make weird decisions. That's why no one respects the NCAA. This is the Daily Tip for Make You Out, presented by that MGM. Coming up in just five minutes, it's our daily flip of the coin as we give you our Nerfy and Nerfy 